right glove has been so low, and because Franklin's over trying with his with his punches. So we come to round nine, and again, this is going to be a case of attrition. Who's got what left in the last couple of rounds? Exactly right, and the average punch is thrown per round, 55 for Franklin, 36 for Booker. We've been wondering if Booker would slow down, and he never really set a very fast pace, but he's certainly been less effective in the second half of the fight. In terms of jabs thrown, big advantage for Franklin. He hasn't landed that many, but you see that his jab output has slowed down tremendously from the first four rounds. Again, a lot of laying inside here by both guys. Franklin trying to fight off the ropes and missed with a couple of shots. Great, great, don't punch. Back up. Right. Franklin's done some good work off the ropes and in the corners. And I think the reason he's doing that work and Booker isn't. When Booker's back to the ropes, it's because Booker grabs. He holds. Right. When he, when he's, let's see if he holds here. Come on. Let him go right up. He does. Yep. Yep. Well, Franklin, you know, you need to use more experience and work off of that. You know, push him off. You let him go. Move to the side. Move the other way. Tighten up on his defense. And whether Booker won't hold him as much. Break, break. See, look, he, he's... He's making them, I mean, like, the way he opens up, that, that allows for Booker to hold them. If you have a tighter defense and close up on your on your hands, it, it makes it harder for Booker to hold them. He also has a tendency to lunge in. Come on, yeah, he's crowded him. He, he's yeah. leaning yeah. his big body on him. And when you overpunch, you lunge. Yes. I mean, he's causing that. You know? I mean, that's what Booker, it's easier for Booker to hold on to him. Oh, nice, nice uppercut. uppercut. Well, and a jab in return, and now. Out of nowhere. Yeah. Now Booker back to the ropes again. Good left hand there. Right back in. And a good right hand of the body. Right there, doing the right thing. He's got to keep touching, got to keep touching. Don't load up with every shot. Well, he's or been combos. loading up with every shot every the yeah, whole fight. He, he keeps doing that. Yeah. And that, that's the part of the, the learning. Break, break, you know, break, learning. Back up, back up. Find a, a pretty savvy right. veteran that uh, teaching him a lot of a lot of tricks to me. But when you lunge and you throw every punch at 100 miles an hour, you lose your balance. Right. Both guys getting there at the end that's of the round. Right, that's all right, that's all right, that's all right. But once again, Booker just not doing right, enough. Check, check out the uppercut by Franklin here. Right between the guard. That's a classic example of a good time to use an uppercut because the fighters right are close now, to each other. Right hand. If you just you always raise your right hand right here. I do sit down and turn it right over to next to Last round, touch in the ring. Okay. You're too hard for a close fight. Now, now what you going to do? I'm going to win this fight. Okay, well, let's go in there and let's do it then. We can't be wasting no time. No more. Take it to his head. Right down. You double the Three right. minutes, Anything baby. Three minutes. Well, you jabbed him. Bow. You. Nothing at all. I need you to work, big dog. Don't let your back touch them ropes at all this round. You understand? Okay. 